Welcome back everybody. So guys, what I'm just going to teach you in this class, actually, I just want to make an application where I'm just going to get the data from the client and then I'm just going to update the page of the process Ajax by the client's inputted data. So by the way, what I'm just go what I'm just doing now now, I'm just going to the process Ajax.php which actually has nothing for now. I'm just going inside and for now what I just want to do I just want to make uh, I just need to make another array here the dollar and the array name should be countries countries ie as and now you know that this is an array so the method must be the must be an array and then what I'm just doing here let's just put the value for the first one country I'm just putting the you know the United States duplicate the United Kingdom duplicate here I'm just typing I'm just typing the United Arab Emirates okay now duplicate here the Brazil duplicate the you know India, the Pakistan, the Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka. Okay, that is awesome. That is okay. So what more I'm just doing, I'm just going down and just simply go to the index.html. And for now, what I'm just doing, I'm just making here, you can see that I just removed the result from there. The response text is not more not anymore but I'm just gonna make that back but for now I'm just making a button here and an input type must be text for now you can use in your way the ID for the input is the user input whatever and the ID for the button is BTN BTN whatever now save in here I'm just typing click to submit data now save and then what more I'm just gonna do I'm going to the process ajax.php and what more I'm just do just simply type if is set you know the dollar request interestingly I just didn't create the request yet so I think I should create the request for for now so here what the request or actually the variable I should create the get variable so I'm just gonna create the request name as the var1 again no, the var1 and the value for the var1 I'm just putting here for now as the simple the Pakistan for now okay Pakistan now save and for now what I'm just doing actually I'm not getting the value from this input for now I'm just getting the simple value you can see that I'm just clicking on a process ajax.php I'm just going in there and the var1 if this is valid and then here I'm just going inside and what more I'm just doing if now if the request var1 is equal to now one thing more I just need to create the for each first if you remember that we just need to create the for each so first of all I'm just running the for each I just forgot to create the for each for each for now so I'm just doing that for now the for each and here the countries as country a single country single country on every result so what more just simply cut that and paste there okay now everything is pretty fine here and what more I'm just gonna do basically what I did I just simply um, just fetched this raw uh, this array okay the complete array in the for each loop and the array name is countries as I'm just getting them as country so I'm just gonna display every single country there so I think first of all I should uh, simply make them comment and for now I'm just simply echoing 
all the countries just to confirm you that it's working perfectly because I just don't want to make you confused on the you know the for each so now refresh the page and here is the click to submit data one thing more that uh, we need to launch this Ajax function so I'm, I just want to launch the Ajax function on this button so the on click here the Ajax func and then exactly this is fine whenever anyone clicks on the uh, on the button it will launched so refresh the page and now click on the click to submit data nothing happening exactly because I'm not receiving the data from that page from that page okay the process Ajax here the document dot get element by ID and here where I just want to get the data I just want to get the data on a div which is not created yet I'm just creating the div here and the ID for this div we are just going to receive the data the items I'm just making as retrieve or ret data okay awesome now ret data where I just want to receive the data okay now I just want to add some inner HTML now the value for the inner HTML what I just want to put if you remember what we just did in a previous class we just make this one we just made this one the data which are, which we just uh, we we're just getting from the HTML in, into JavaScript we just made that as the variable and then we just simply call the variable that variable and assign the inner HTML but right now I'm not making them uh, making that uh, any variable just simply directly assigning the function here the method of the inner HTML and now I'm just putting the data for the inner HTML the response text which I'm just getting from that page I'm just assigning with this red data so go to the browser and now simply click refresh and click on on click to submit data not working that means something more we need to do here and yes I just forgot to put the object how it can work without an object exactly the response text is nothing without XML HTTP and the XML HTTP is coming from that object the XML HTTP request so everything is pretty fine refer to the page again and just click on click to submit data and exactly the United States the United Kingdom the UAE the Brazil India Pakistan and Sri Lanka so that means what I just need to do more now I can do what I just wanna do actually I'm just now I'm just gonna get the data from this input and just gonna submit the data by this button and when I just uh, click on this button what will happen actually I'm just submitting some kind of name the country name here in this input and then I'll just check that th the name which I just submitted or the user has been submitted on uh, this input is in the process Ajax uh, array or no for example the name must be in the country's list to get the result otherwise I'll get that no result found or something well for now what I'm just doing I'm just making them workable again and I'm not echoing any country directly so for now go inside the, uh, that uh, here first of all I just need to make sure something if the request is equal to the country okay then what should happen so what should be echoed here I'm just typing the echo and here the div and then space and the class or the style what I'm just gonna type here the color should be red or I think the green okay perfect now then save and here I'm just typing like uh, first of all just concatenate the data the request spelling should be clear the var one is in the list okay perfect now save what I'm just doing I'm just going to the index.html and here what I'm just doing the Pakistan here I'm just sending the Pakistan from this request so save and I'm just going to the browser and refreshing 
now click on click on click to submit data and the Pakistan is in the list but if I just type here the China the China is not in the, that list the China save and I'm just going to the browser back and now refresh the page and click on the submit data nothing happens so this is actually going perfect so what more we need to do I'm going back to the browser and refreshing the page okay this is fine so now basically I'm just going to the index.html and actually I just want to get the data from this one the user input so instead of this Pakistan I'm removing that end here what I'm just doing I'm getting the data here the inner and I'm just making a variable the variable name is the user input okay user input equal to document dot get element e should be capital in fact e must be capital by id and here i'm just selecting the user sorry user input okay now basically i just selected the user input whenever anyone clicks on the button any value which will be inside the user input this input text I'm just gonna get in this Ajax func the function so well here what I'm just sending is a where ones value mean time when anyone clicks on the uh, this button the function the Ajax function will run and will collect first of all the data from this user input and send that data here okay I'm adding the plus sign if you remember that we just learned in a JavaScript that uh, we have to use a plus sign to concatenate in the PHP we have to use the period but in the JavaScript we have to use a plus sign and now I'm just gonna add the variable of the user input okay this is the user input I'm just sending this one here so then just go to the browser and refresh the page and uh, what I'm just doing I'm just simply typing here the Pakistan and clicking on click to submit data not working that means something wrong and what is wrong so here just for testing up what I'm just doing the alert I'm just making an alert and the user input to check out that when anyone clicks on this button this function will running will run and am I getting the value of the user input so go to the browser and refresh the page and click to click on click to submit data the function is not working on click that means something's wrong and the issue was you can see that inside this alert the user input must be underscore instead of the hyphen so go to the browser and now refresh the page and submit type here the Pakistan and click on click to submit and yeah I'm just getting object HTML input element okay just why because I just didn't get the value of this input now I just made the value too now I'm just only getting the value of this input so go back to the browser and click on OK and refresh the page and click sub sub type submit here the Pakistan again click on click to submit data and now you can see the Pakistan that means it's working and yes Pakistan is in the list everything is fine for now what was the mistake previously go to the browser and refresh the page now click here the Pakistan um, Pakistan and click on click to submit data now you can see that the Pakistan is in the list if I just type India so submit India is in the list the China if I just type China so click on click to submit data and exactly it's not working because the China is not in that list so what more we need I just want to make this input work able directly without that button so what we need to do I'm just simply deleting that button or not delete just go directly here the input on the input and just type here the on key press when anyone press any key any key of the keyboard this function this event must be launched and what this event has this event has the Ajax func okay so Ajax function now and what is happening in Ajax function exactly the same that uh, getting the data and working on so now I'm just going to the browser and refreshing the page and here I'm just typing the you know the Pakistan and now space I just added the space now you can see that the Pakistan is in the list but if I just remove that 
you can see that I'm just typing again the India India is in the list also the United States is also in the list and if I just type the United now the Arab Emirates that is on the list also but actually it's not working really perfectly what is happening if I just type P A K I S T A N not working I just need to press another key to send a request basically what is happening when I just press only P the request is sending the A K I S T A N everything is working fine the P should be capital now but what more add any space so the complete Pakistan is sending when I'm adding any space or adding another character I just cannot add any character because you know I just can't make them uh, I, I just can't put any other value so by the way what I'm just gonna do here to manage that instead of the key press I'm just typing the on key up okay when I just press any key and when I just pick up my finger so the function must run so go to the browser and refresh the page and here I'm just typing P A K I S sorry the S T A N and when the result matches I got the Pakistan is in the list and I'm removing that so this is not in the list the N D I A the India is also in the list so this is pretty awesome automatically it's automatically working the United or the Brazil is in the list awesome why not we just make this a little more interesting and more featureable in the next class so wait for a little while stay tuned and goodbye